In this video, I'm going to unbox and take a closer look at this. This is the Gem Golf Swing Trainer. It has been designed by an ex-European Tour professional golfer and created here in Scotland. The product itself has been designed to help amateur golfers in particular work on a better release pattern. Now the Gem Golf retails at £120. I've put a link to it in the description below and I've also put a discount code in there which can earn you an extra 10% off of the product. So let's see what all the fuss is about. Let's take a look inside the box. Okay, so this is the packaging for the Gem Golf. It's actually quite heavy, although you'll see when we open it, the components made from what they're made from in the metal um, adds obviously to the weight. Now, Gem stands for Golf's Essential Move, as you can see there, and it says it's proudly made in Scotland. So this is a Scottish independent golf company, and it's really good to see so many Scottish brands now in the golf industry. Um, on the side here, it says, when the gem is attached to the club in the correct way, the player is ready to start learning how to move the club correctly in the most important parts of the golf swing. So this is very much a device that used as a training aid to help deliver a square club face and then properly rotate through impact. So people like myself, a lot of amateurs who leave the club face open at impact and tend to push the ball out to the right or slice them, hopefully this will get that club head closing properly and work on a better release pattern through muscle memory. But it's nicely packaged. Um, I actually quite like the, the green and black. Um, so the green will go on the black. And there's a nice feeling to this packaging actually. It's hard to see obviously with the light and obviously you can't feel. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice enough little box. Let's have a look inside then. So we'll open it up, see what we have here. So we'll give it a little shake, take it out, check there's nothing else in there. So we have the instruction manual here. So instructions and installation. And this is quite like the, the little short scope quick start guide actually. So it's very um, concise and condensed. Obviously there's more information there it says at um, Gem Golf, so you can take a look at that. But as with most golf products that I've been using, I think it's always worthwhile taking a look and reading through the instructions. And in particular with this device because it needs to be set up and used in the correct way. Um, I have watched some videos on YouTube to get an idea before unboxing it, but we can see here the different components we get. So we're going to get a long rod, a shorter rod, an even shorter rod, and we're going to get the connector and a ball weight. So we'll put the instruction manual, we'll just put that up to the side just now. And then we have, presumably, the Gem Golf Swing Trainer here. And it's a really nice little pouch actually. So it's got a carabiner clip on it there. So this will be for putting it in and um, taking it to the driving range or the practice area. So yeah, that feels really nice and soft. So we'll just put that to the side just now and focus on this product. So let's take a closer look. So it's in this kind of like tissue wrapping here, which has got the Gem Golf um, logo on it. And we'll just peel this off if we can actually get into it. So it's quite nicely wrapped. Just can't actually get it, get it open. Let's just rip it, that'll be easier. Okay, so what have we got here? Let's put this instruction manual just to the side. Okay, so this is the connector. And then this must be the ball weight. And then I assume these will be the rods. So we've got, yep, we've got two little rods here, two different sizes. And then the last rod must be hiding in here. There it is there. So we've got the final rod or the rod number one as they class it. So let's um, let's just lay all of this out to make it a little bit easier to see what we have. Okay, so let's just take a look at the parts that we get. So first of all, we have the connector piece here and it's just got a couple of um, nuts here. They're actually, what's quite good about these is you've got a good bit of grip here. So once they're tightened, you can make sure they're tightened. They don't need any screwdrivers or anything. So you can do this all by hand. So presumably these just unscrew and then this is obviously what connects on to your golf shaft and then you'll see in the bottom it's drilled in to connect the rods so we'll pop that down for now um, the next thing we have is we've got the the main rod here so this is the longer rod and as i said i've watched quite a lot of the videos before unboxing this to get an idea of how the device works and how to set it up so this one here will be used initially in training the swing and then you can drop down to this rod here which is a slightly smaller one and the thinking behind this is 
this will obviously make you have to work your hands just that little bit more yourself rather than using um, the weight. So we'll have that one once you get a little bit better. And then this small one here, you'll notice that it's actually only got the kind of um, thread on one side and that's because this one, instead of going underneath the golf grip, so pointing down with the weight on the end, this one actually just screws into the connector and it points upwards, so it's useful for your short game. So you can use the Gem Golf for training your release pattern, but also for training release pattern with your um, short game shots. And this one, you can actually hit golf balls when that's attached. The other two, when you have this, which is the big um, weight ball, when you have that connected to them, you're not able to hit shots with. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these rods and just screw it into here. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then this weight will basically just go on to the end. And that's essentially it. So this then connects on to the golf club and we can then work on the release pattern. And then as we improve, we can then take off the longer rod, swap down to a shorter one. You see how quick and easy it is actually just to screw all this in and it's screwing in nice and tight. So I'm pretty convinced that will be um, held in place. And then we've got the shorter one. And then as I mentioned a little second ago, if we're wanting to work on our short game, then what we can do is connect this to the connector. But instead of pointing down the way, it will actually point up and it gives us a reference point for our swing. So no weight attaches to the end there. So let's just unscrew that right now. Okay, so I'll line all this up just so we can see everything that we get in the packet. We've got the instruction manual and then we have the little pouch and we have the, just pop the box there as well. So that's everything that you get inside the box. What I'll do now is I'll just quickly attach it to my golf club here and now and show you how it looks when it's actually on one of my irons. Hopefully you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, make sure you hit that like button and drop a comment below to let me know what your initial thoughts on the Gem Golf Swing Trainer are and whether or not you think it really will help my golf swing. Now let's get back to the video where we're going to build the Gem Golf and connect it to my golf club. Okay, so I've grabbed one of my irons here. This is my TaylorMade P770s. I've just gone for the eight iron and let's attach it to the grip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the head pointing as if it would be pointing um, up the way and we are going to basically attach it to the grip here. So it doesn't go on the actual shaft of your club. It's going to be attached to the grip and then essentially the rod is going to point down the way like this with the weight on the bottom and the toe will point up the way. So I'm going to take the connector, we've got the connector here and I'm just going to unscrew, let's unscrew one of these so that the other one can allow it to flip around and then we'll try and get this on to the grip. So we're going to have it onto the grip here and then I'll try and get this round just like that. It's a little bit fiddly in my studio here because I've not got a huge amount of room. We'll see if we can get that screwed in. And the important thing here is we need to make sure that the toe of the club is pointing up and that the rod will be pointing down. So I'll just screw this into position and it's actually, it's really quite easy to screw these in. It's a really good idea actually to have um, the sort of raised profile on these, um, the heads of the screws here of the nuts because it just means you've, you can put in a little bit of effort to screw them in and you know it's all locked in position. If those were flat and smooth, your hand might um, slip a little bit, especially if it's wet. So you'll see now, I've got them pointing um, up the way. So the hole is underneath and you'll see if I just bring it along. So the club head is pointing down just now and the hole is pointing to the sky. And then if I rotate it down, the hole is pointing down and the club head is pointing up. So let's just insert the rod now. So we'll take the larger rod and we're just gonna screw it into that hole. And then clip it into position. And then you can see that's it now connected to the connector. And then the final thing we'll need to do is take the weight. And it is quite, it is quite heavy actually, to be honest. And we'll get that into position. So we've now got it connected to the club. It's quite hard to see here. I don't have a huge amount of room, but you'll see that we've connected it to the bottom of the grip, the underside. So there's the club head pointing to the sky. And then we have 
the device connected to the club here. Now in terms of unscrewing it, you can just easily unscrew, take it off. And then what you can actually do here, if I loosen these and twist this around, let's see if we can get a bit of movement to just twist it. We can now point it up the way. So this is going the same direction as the um, club head and the toe is pointing up the way. And this is where you'll take this little rod where we don't attach the ball and you can put it like this. And then this is basically designed for when you're chipping to ensure that as you bring the club back, the head is pointing and the club, the toe is pointing up to the sky. And as you bring it through, the toe again points to the sky there. So you can basically use this for reference. So there you have it, that's an unboxing and first look at the Gem Golf Swing Trainer. Personally, it's a device that I'm really excited about. I always like these trainers that you don't necessarily need to use at the golf course and you can make use of in your free time, even in the garden. If you are wanting to find out more about the Gem Golf, then remember you can hit the link in the description below and there's also that handy promo code to save you an extra 10%. Next up, if you want to find out how I got on using the Gem Golf, I've got a full review video that you can watch just here.